Oh my god, how's it going everybody? It's so good to see you. It's been so long. This is Eddie. We're playing Trove again. Oh my god. So many people asking for Trove, showing their support, wondering if I quit, if I'm going to be done with it. No, no, I'm not. I was super busy with school. Not that you care, so we're not going to talk about it, but um, I just finished my semester, so things are opening up and I'm coming back. We got a lot of ground to do. It's kind of good that I took a break though, because I, I feel more excited now. I feel, feel ready to go. I feel like I got fresh ideas. Uh, also, a lot has happened in the development, which makes it a more playable game, because to be honest, I felt like I had done everything there is to do, and all that was left to do is to do it some more. Uh, which I, I, I get kind of sick of, but but that's different now. So let's see, uh, I'm playing the new class, obviously, the new is, is, ish class, new est that there is. Uh, it's, probably, it's probably not that new. I don't actually know exactly when it come out came out, because I kind of fell behind on keeping up with the patch notes. But it is the Reverend, which is, oh, hello. Which is very cool, very cool. Uh, it's a tanky class, a, a little bit like Candy Barbarian. Uh, it's got heals a little bit like the Candy Barbarian, but it's different. It's basic attack does the heals, but then also some of its abilities were cost health to use, which is interesting, so you kind of got to be watching that health bar while you're doing it. Uh, that's new and different. I like to see them doing some new and different stuff. Also, for the first time ever in any Trove class, I think its damage is di uh, its damage of its ultimate ability is actually uh, influenced by how much max health you have. So the more health you your, you build in your gear, also the more damage it does, which is a very like MOBA thing to do to have the the, the stats kind of correlate with each other like that, so that you can sort of really specialize your builds to kind of. Kill two birds with one stone. And I think that's a really smart move because, uh, to be honest with you, uh, in my opinion, building on Trove was like like gear building um, on your classes. You really only needed one set of gear uh, per weapon type um, and, and, and like a magical and physical, basically, build. Because uh, all you wanted was health and damage. That's really all that mattered. Uh, and you could make special arguments for special classes, but I mean, come on, at the end of the day, the dodge rolls were effect. The dodge moves were effective dodge moves, no matter how high your movement speed was. They could really dodge anything at any level, so it, it didn't really. It just wasn't all that interesting. But now, if they're going to do more stuff like this, uh, it, it will definitely be more interesting. Absolutely, uh, we have um, a new, a new. So we we've missed so much, guys. Missed so many uh, dragon things. But luckily, I'm going to go for this tome here. Um, to get three dragon coins, so we can try to start catching up on some of those dragon souls that we didn't get to, because that was unfortunate that we didn't uh, don't have some of those. And uh, like I didn't have get any ancient dragons or um, moon dragons, and I think we're currently on bone dragons. Is that what we're on right now? I don't know. I, I don't think I have any of those. I may have missed bone dragons, and we're all the way on to like winter dragons. Actually, I'm pretty sure. So I've been I'm way behind the times. Got so much to catch up on. Um, and, and adventure boxes as well. I actually, I haven't really been playing in any uber worlds, and I'm pretty sure you can only get adventure boxes in uber worlds, so I don't actually know if they're even still doing those, but I haven't seen any. Uh, but I did miss quite a few, I think. Uh, yeah, cool. So that that's, that's pretty great. But what else we got? Well, uh, you know, there's PvP. That's kind of a big one, isn't it? And there's a couple different things for PvP. Uh, I'm pretty sure... So they have like, you can join a game and then people can play PvP uh, like in the maps that the Trove guys built, the devs, uh, with other people. But then I'm pretty sure you can also have Club World PvP these days. I saw something to that effect. So that's totally on our to-do list of building one of those in the Club World. Club World has gotten a huge makeover. Uh, slowly just kind of overwriting what was previously there, to be honest with you, because uh, it had been griefed to all get out, and it just wasn't working for me uh, in terms of, like, monitoring, uh, you know, monitoring, th there's just, it just wasn't enough control for me. So it's basically going to be for me, and me alone, so sorry. Uh, you guys are free to come hang out and use the, use the portals and all that good stuff, and obviously I'm still going to accept people into the club if they want to use all that good stuff, but in terms of who can build, it's just going to be me until, until that process gets a little bit more fine-tuned and refined. But you know what? The fact that they added this PvP thing is like... is... is... 
basically 75% way to making me completely satisfied. And you guys knew that I really ragged on the, uh, the like everything about the club world system before. That was kind of my biggest complaint. Um, but per usual, try on the dev team at Trove is uh, super responsive and on top of it. Um, obviously, developing things takes time, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so uh, I don't expect them to get it out right away, but uh, you know they did. They did good, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, so I mean I don't have much to say right now for this video because this, this is kind of weird. I didn't want to throw all this chatter into like a real video for the series because I'm gonna do things a little differently now. Uh, I'm gonna have longer videos, and uh, I'm gonna have them be sort of all sorts of stuff. Uh, like a little bit of leveling, a little bit, it, it's, it's much easier, true, these days, especially now that I have my interest in the game back, because it's, I, I took a break and I'm just, this stuff seems more new and exciting to me, um, than it did back when I was playing regularly, it seems like it's gonna be much easier for me to make a series, which I know you guys are gonna be happy about because of how much you missed this. I got, I got tweets about it, I got comments about it, it's great, it's so great. Uh, so I just wanted to make this video that was a little bit on its own, you know, just because, you know, this was a lot of talking to put inside of a real episode. Um, so this will be pretty short, pretty, pretty to the point, but the videos are going to be so much longer, so much longer. I hope you guys, I hope you guys like that. Uh, I'm going to try to probably push them in beyond the, the 30 minute mark. I don't know how frequently I'll be able to push them out when they're that long, but uh, I'll try. So next thing I want to show you guys, you know what, before we go to the club, just just in case, I mean, I sh I'm sure you guys have all seen this, Trove being free and, and everything like that. Y'all probably play Trove more than I do at this point. So, but they did update so much, like this has got a rework. It looks so much nicer like this, to be honest with you. Uh, the old one kind of looks simplistic, but this was good. So you can see, Oh, yeah, we're so far behind, so far behind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, anywho, we gotta, we gotta get there, we gotta get there. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on, let's check the prices here. How many coins is it? It's two coins. So that means once a week you can get... Let's see. Oh, even the Azulian ones are two coins in there. So okay, so so there, so once a week we'll get three coins for free once we buy that thing, which is over three souls. So that's six souls every two weeks, which is not a bad deal. I mean, obviously it's gonna take a long time for us to catch up with all the dragons like that, but you know you gotta start somewhere, am I right? So uh, oh, there's a whole other big thing which I think is gonna change our lives. Uh, let's see if I can find the right button. Come on, what is it? I don't know, what do you think? Uh, oh, you, you is the button. Yeah, 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 okay. So I wanna look for, uh, I wanna buy, like, I I want, I wanna buy some wings for Flux. Search. Boom. These are people who are selling stuff. Oh, I wanna sell some stuff? I wanna accept Flux. I wanna accept a dragon coin. Oh, wait. Oh, this is odd. Okay, so you have to... Oh, so I sell stuff for a dragon coin. Sell stuff for flux. Right, I'm wondering if it gives a recommended price anywhere. Like, who wants... Some scrolls? All five of them. Right? Uh, and then you can sell stuff, and then you leave it up there on the market. This is gonna change our lives. I have to really look into that. I think I'm probably going to dedicate a whole section to a future video about that. Um, really though, I, I think we can really start working towards some higher level stuff. Oh look, they're playing hockey! They added this. Um, boom! They added this to the hub. I think this is just a, a temporary seasonal thing. Because hockey. Servicing all their Canadian audiences. Whoa! Did I knock it out of the court? I think I did. That's pretty crazy. Um, okay, okay, so... 
All right, cool. So let's finish this off again with uh, a little bit of the update on the club world. So we got the club world here. Things are uh, a little bit the same. I mean, I've replaced quite a few with this particular biome. Uh, this isn't the Uncanny Valley. What is this? Fey Wilds. I like it. I like it. It's a little plain. I was kind of hoping for... Uh, it's... I don't know. I don't really know what I was hoping for. I didn't like the giant mountain that was kind of unwieldy. Um, the giant Frigga fjords. Uh, tower sort of got destroyed in the process, but I did move the stuff out of it. And we still got the bridge over there. I don't know. We might abandon those projects. We might keep them around. But uh, the main project is this nice new big giant base here. It's going to be a giant tree. We're going to build some other giant trees in this area. And this is going to be our main... Oh, that's not right. That's not the right kind of block. What happened here, huh? What am I looking for? I'm looking for... I'm looking for the chocolate one. I might not have any. Let's make some... Do-do-do. Dark chocolate. Let's get, like, 400... There we go. And let's see. Oh, it was on the other page. Sneaky. Okay. So I already had some. All right. Let's see. Uh, I want to just kind of give you f flavor as so many dragon friends. Look at all these people and their dragons. That's fancy. I don't got. I don't got dragons like this. Uh, it's so it's a little it's a little difficult to uh, to, to see here because it's so much it's just a wireframe right now, but it's gonna be a tree. I think I already talked about that. I already mentioned it's gonna be a tree. It's pretty big. Um, every one block on this tree, I'm building part a section of this tree, like the curviest section, um, is uh, five by five by five block here. So one basically one of these. Here. And I'm kind of adding more. I, try, I did it best to try to put some roots in. It's kind of hard to tell though, w without having the the thing filled in. So we're gonna have to gonna have to do some work on this. I think this would be a good you know answer some comments, to give you guys some updates at the you know, beginning or end or middle of a video, you know whichever one of those. Uh, you know what I can do now? Actually, I can click and drag. Kind of forget that, as long as there's nobody standing in my way! <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe I'll just give you guys a little taste of, of how this is going. So... Uh, it, you know what's annoying? They don't have the right color blocks for all the things. It, it just doesn't exist. It's not real. Uh, not real at all. I don't, I don't know why that would be. It seems silly to me that they wouldn't put the same blocks as all the different trees they have. This is as close as I could get to the green. I mean, it's fine. You know, it's it's, it's not terrible, and it doesn't have to be exact, but uh, it certainly isn't exact. So it just kind of surprised me that they didn't have that. I almost feel like they should have... Didn't they have a... They used to have this old, like, old, like, alpha, alpha days, I think. Um, an organic workbench that had different types of organic -y blocks. Now it's just a section in the block builder. I feel like if they brought back that organic workbench and had it be the, like, just label it as, like, Fay Wild's tree leaves and just had all the same colors, I feel like I could really go for that. It's pretty minimal here as it is. But, uh, you know, that's fine. I also think it would be cool to get blocks that had the grass behavior um, of, you know, turning, decaying off of grass and then growing back onto grass. That would be neat, but I, I don't think they have any blocks that do that. Well, I guess maybe if you buy the the dirt blocks and put it next to grass, you can turn it into grass. I don't know. I'm sort of getting used to the building here. I know I, I used to complain a lot about the, the building mechanics. It's just you get spoiled from Minecraft. You know, this isn't what this video is for. I, I don't even know why I'm talking about Okay, so so building the tree. Tree is going to serve as our new base operations for things, but uh, another big thing... Um, on the to-do list is going to be finding a picking a design for the battle arena and actually putting one in the club world and then having people test it 
Um, and then probably, you know, modifying. So th that's a lot of to-do list. We got to get, I, I didn't really play the Lancer much at all. So I got to get the Lancer leveled up. Got to get the Reverend leveled up. Got to get back on the challenges so we can start forging stuff. I still don't have any radiant gear. Uh, we got to get 20,000 uh, cubits for the, um, that tome for sure. That's, that's, that's a really big one. That one I'm really excited about. And we also got to get the, uh, the, um, what's it called? Um, did I say battle arena already? I don't know if I did, but we got to get this in the battle arena done. Lots of building projects. So we're, we're busy, little bees. And I'm going to try to do a, you know, I think it's going to be better for you and better for me if I do a sprinkling of like all those things in, um, in each video and sort of come out with longer videos and anyways so that's good uh, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the streams I, I people don't usually like it when I talk about the streams too much uh, on the YouTubes but I'm gonna just mention it real quick uh, so we're gonna do the streams again at some point probably a variety of games but Trove will be one of them and I have Probably literally hundreds of Balefire Wings keys. Um, I don't really have much else to give away. So, uh, I'm pretty sure just every day I'm going to be giving away multiple Balefire Wings keys. Like, uh, I have, I feel bad at how many I have. Let me put it that way. Because they've been given, they've been so generous to keep giving me uh, a new set every week. And, I, and I'm not using them at all for an entire, for like three months. So, um... Yeah, I, I definitely, you know, I feel like I owe it to you guys. I feel like I owe it to uh, try on all them to, to, to actually put those to good use. And I definitely intend to do it. But so I, I figure I figured a lot of you would be excited to hear that, especially if you already watch the streams. And if you're looking for a cool set of wings, if you want to see them, let's put them out. Ooh, that's the Balefire wings. They, they got quite the wingspan on them. So yeah, if you're if you if you're looking for those, you you know where to find them. Absolutely, all day, every day. twitchtv slash Edster. Okay, so so let's see. This is what the tree is sort of looking like here, and that's which arm is that? That is this arm. So one of the things I want to do then is sort of do something a little different, and actually, it's just uh, just a little flavor, just a little taste about what. What's coming? Um, get another little thing. Now this uh, this isn't on the the, the tree because you can't get this small. But when you make such a big build, you can actually start doing stuff like this. Um, that's probably good. And then all the limbs on these trees go up. None of them wilt down. You know. I, I'm gonna invite you to the club. I saw you ask. I'm gonna do it. But, uh. <laughs> oh! Ran out of blocks. Uh, is that too. No, that's fine. Alright, let, let's just let's just wrap this up. And we'll call it good for today. So, let's get like another 400 because we're gonna need so many of these. Also, let's see if I can find those. Yeah, pine green, that was the color. All right, we got plenty of that, which is good. So, uh, not, not yet, pine green, not yet. Um, and these, these things on the real trees are these leaf palette plate things on top, tree toppers, is, uh, they're, they're asymmetrical, generally. So let's do something like this. Uh, yeah, do it like that. And then maybe just How's that? Looks kind of strange. Don't look strange. Yeah, let's uh does, does it look thin to you? Is that is that what what I'm seeing that I'm not liking? A thinness to it, a flatness. Oh wait, what am I doing? Now I'm making it too. 
I do kind of want to make it look a little bit more like a willow, this big tree, than, uh, than, it, than it would if I just copied it exactly. So probably use some decorations for that. I'm sure there's like a vine decoration, or if not, then we could try to come up with something. Although small buildings are really hard and true. But I, I would I would be surprised if there wasn't something that looks like a vine. I actually think there is rope that we could use, uh, and then probably I'll put like glowing things at the end of it, just because that might look cool. All right, how does that does that improve it at all? I think that does it. It does improve it. I don't know if I. It's exactly how I wanted. Anyways, you, you're sort of getting stuck. Actually, you know what? You know what is partially causing my brain to hurt when looking at this is that the tall part isn't under the the wood. Okay sir. Alright, let's see. Well, uh, no. Little busy, sorry. Right, is that right? How's that, is that? Yeah, you know, that actually helps. Actually, that does help. And then maybe we can even, I, I'm actually, no, no, no. Hey, well, my laser got stuck. Uh, I'm, and then there's, I, I could potentially play with some Hey! T uh, taking a hint, uh... Oh, man. <laughs> I was gonna say, take a hint, but then I was sort of saying a different sentence, and then it kind of merged. Anyways, could potentially try to round things out. I don't, I don't like how that looks here. On, th on the big scale, it actually might look better if we tried to smooth it out. Kind of like what I was doing here, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how this worked out. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to fill it in more. We're gonna have to build it up more. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to, to, to real videos. This is this is more like a. a I'm I'm calling it season two. So um, this is more like an introduction to season two. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Close your eyes, little bird. Tomorrow is a new world. Thank you.